Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is going to be on this makeup look right here and it's the exact same one I had on in my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick swatch video. I know it is way overdue, I uploaded that video a while back, but the reason I decided to do this tutorial for you guys today is because I'm going to be swatching some new lip colors for you and they are from Dose of Colors. They recently launched four new lipsticks, two lip glosses and two liquid matte lipsticks. I currently have on the one called Coral Crush, which is a liquid matte lipstick. So I figured I should recreate that look for you guys because the reason I decided to do this look in the first place for the first video is because it is something that is really universal. It allows the lip color to be the focus while everything else is very neutral. So I love this look for everyday wear when you don't know what you're going to wear and you need something that's going to match everything. It's just a go-to look. It's a very neutral look. Trust me, it is so easy, you'll love it. So if you're curious, which I know a lot of you guys were, and you wanna see how I create this look, keep on watching. Because the eyes are so simple for this look, I'm gonna start out with complexion. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using Kogendo's Aqua Foundation. And I'm gonna be mixing shades 143 and 123 together. As always, I'm gonna be warming up the product with my hands first, applying it with my fingers, and then blending it out with a beauty blender. I'm also going to apply that foundation to my eyelids and use that as a primer for the eyeshadow. A great drugstore foundation that's going to give you a similar finish is Maybelline's Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth Foundation. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to be mixing the shades Honey and Vanilla together. I'm mixing in the shade Honey because it's really salmon colored so it's going to help block out any darkness. I, I know I don't have that much but it really does help to brighten and I'm also going to be using the shade Vanilla because it's just a shade lighter than my actual skin tone. A more budget-friendly option for this concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It has a really similar uh, finish where it's still dewy and brightening, it's not so matte, so I really do like it for the under eye area. So the first color I'm going to be applying is Naked Lunch by MAC, and I'm going to apply it using a Smith Brush 247. I think this is one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever purchased, and I'm not even kidding you, I used to wear it all the time. I think this look is what I used to wear all the time. I'm also going to be applying this shadow to the tear duct for a little bit of a highlight. An alternative to using Naked Lunch from MAC is Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow. Using that same Smith 247 brush, I'm now going to apply the shadow Soft Brown, also from MAC, into the crease. I'm also going to use that same brush to run this shadow along the lower lash line, but if that's too much eyeshadow for you, for your lower lash line, feel free to grab a smaller brush. I really like brush, hold on, Morphe M213 brush. I love this for smaller eyes or for applying shadow really, really close to the lash line, especially like a black shadow, or if a client of mine doesn't like a really smoked out lower lash line, I'll tend to use this brush. Another option for Max Soft Brown Eyeshadow is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. And believe it or not, this is pretty much all I did in order to achieve that look you guys saw in the Anastasia Swatch video. But I'm going to show you guys another option in case you want to deepen the color and get more of an intense look. I'm going to be using Max Brown Script Eyeshadow to just intensify the color a little more and not necessarily cut the crease, but just define the eyes a bit more. 
So using that same Smith 247 brush, I'm gonna apply it deeper into the crease and to the outer corner of the lower lash line. And I'm gonna use that Morphe brush I mentioned, the M213 brush, to apply that darker shadow to the outer corner so you guys can see what I mean about applying it really close to the lash line and being a little more precise with your shadow application. So as I was applying the eyeshadow, I was looking at it and thinking, that looks a lot warmer than the photo. So I went back and pulled up the photo of this look and I definitely did not have a warm toned eyeshadow on so I would skip the brown script and instead I'm gonna be applying mocha just to the outer corner and over that eyeshadow to correct the warmth that I added. And I'm gonna pick up a little powder just to blend it out to give more of a cool toned look. And now I'm just going back in with a much more cool toned brown to correct the look of the shadow. So I'm using Makeup Geek's Mocha Eyeshadow to get more of that brown cool toned look versus the orange warm tone that we were getting from the previous shadow. And I'm just buffing it over the shadows we previously applied using the Sigma E40 brush. Before I go into showing you guys how to apply individual lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my complexion. And lately I've been loving applying my highlighter first before bronzer or blush, because I just love the way it looks when a little bit of the bronzer goes over the highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight first, and I'm gonna be using the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, and I'm gonna apply it using Smith Brush 118. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my favorite Laguna bronzer and I'm going to apply it using Smith Brush 112. I'm just going to switch over to a smaller brush to contour my nose and for that I'm going to be using the Sigma E35 brush. The blush color is also really important for this look because I'm going to be trying on so many different lip colors you don't want it to clash with whatever color you have on your cheeks. So for blush I'm going to be using Madly from NARS which is a very beigey toned pink. It doesn't really stand out too much and it's pretty neutral so it can go with any lip color that you decide to wear. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that using that same Smith 112 brush. And finally, I can't believe I almost forgot this. I tend to do this a lot. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to fill in my brows using Anastasia's Brow Powder Duo in chocolate. And I'm going to do that using Delium Tools 735. Now that complexion's all done, I can go into how to apply individual lashes. And sorry it was so loud for the last like couple seconds or minutes of this tutorial, I forgot to turn my air conditioner off. And it's one of those old school ones, so it causes a lot of background noise. I turned it off now, so let's get right into lashes. I went ahead and added some false lashes. I'm wearing the Ardell Individual Wispies, the ones without the knot because they look a lot more natural when they don't have that knot at the end. And I applied a combination of the short, medium, and long length, as well as some double flares, which are a little bit thicker. So I figured I should show you guys a little bit of this footage to give you a little overview on how I apply individual lashes. But instead, I'm going to be doing a full length tutorial using some of this footage so that you guys can really grasp the idea of how to apply them and really take my time explaining it versus running through it really quick because I know individual lashes can be really complicated. So after I applied the individual lashes, I added some mascara. I used the new NARS Audacious Mascara. I really love this new mascara for individual or false lashes because this brush has over 200 bristles or like, I, they look like little claws that grab every individual lash. So it really gets in between your real lashes and the false lashes and mixes them together to look like a really natural lash. I also went ahead and tight lined, which really blends in the look of the false lashes with the real ones. All I'm gonna do now is apply some clear brow gel to my brows and then we're gonna jump right into swatching all those new Dose of Colors lipsticks. <laughs> 